Hey guys, it's Doug here, coming to you with yet another video helping transform you from pawn to player in this game we call life. In today's one, guys, I'm going to be discussing ontological mathematics. So let's get right into it, shall we? Ontological mathematics is the understanding that everything in the universe is created via math. Now, to get proof of this, we simply need to look at nature. There's uh, tons of, you know, sacred geometry examples, golden ratio, Fibonacci sequence, all of these kind of indicators that the natural world is dictated by math. And by extension, everything is dictated by math. It just so happens that nature is created in such a way where it reflects the natural mathematics of the universe. So guys, the source of all creation can best be described as thinking math, meaning it's math with some intelligence behind it. Uh, not some, all the intelligence, but you get what I mean. Now, because we are extensions of source, we too are thinking math. The best way to describe ourselves is math, because we are also from source. Um, so what's interesting about that realization, guys, is just how much logic and reasoning and analyzing everything actually matters. Um, now, if you're in the spiritual community for <laughs> at least a day, you're going to end up hearing about how emotions dictate everything and we need to uh, abandon all logic and just go with only our emotions. And this, guys, is actually a false teaching propagated by trickster beings. Uh, please muscle test and verify this for yourself. Um, because, of course, because they're being more logical, because they're being more analytical, we need to be able to verify and come up with, you know, actual evidence of these things, right? So the idea that you just feel this is the right thing to do and you feel that you should do this isn't necessarily the smartest thing to do because a lot of times what we call the intuition can actually be wrong. Um, if, and if you think about it logically again, um, <laughs> if what felt right was always the perfect thing for us, everyone would have this amazing life. They would manifest everything they want very easily and things would just be that much smoother. However, guys, it's the fact that we've abandoned the logic and the reason, not all of us, but a large portion of the spiritual community has certainly put all of that to the wayside in favor of just blindly trusting emotions. Now, guys, emotions can be useful for manifesting. We are currently in a dense virtual reality that does require a bit of a jolt from our emotions, our energy in motion, in order to actually get a manifestation off the ground. However, when it comes to decision making, when it comes to discerning the truth, it's all about factual evidence using your logic and reasoning to deduct the actual truth. Simply feeling, oh, this person is, you know, what I need to listen to, or I need to go off and do this thing, or this is the most beneficial thing for me in the moment, isn't true if all you're basing it on is your emotional center. Uh, as a spiritual community going forward, we really have to try to put less emphasis on our emotions. Um, now, emotions are good. We obviously, that's part of the experience here on Earth, is having emotions. So it is a beautiful thing that we get to experience and enjoy and learn plenty of lessons from. Um, so I'm not saying go full stoic. However, we do need to try to control our emotions a little more. Not just try, but actually do. And the more we control our emotions, the easier it becomes the less reactionary we become and the better choices we make because we're not just thinking with emotions, but we're actually analyzing all the possible different 
choices and making the best one through hard evidence. Um, but that's about it, guys. It's actually that simple. It's a very simple uh, topic to cover. Um, it is a big shift in thinking for a lot of people. I know it took me a while just to wrap my head around it, and that's simply because, you know, again, we're very much programmed as soon as we become spiritual to just focus solely on emotions. And you're missing out um, on a large part of the bigger picture and doing yourself a disservice when you trust your emotions alone. So guys, that's basically it. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, please subscribe if you want more of this type of content. We're going to be diving more into the mathematical virtual reality universe. We're going to be diving into how you become an ascended master through the understanding and the demonstrating that you understand these concepts. And it's going to be a very fun time going forward. So I hope to have you all there with me. Please like the video if you can. It really does help out, um, you know, the YouTube channel as a whole. Share it with anybody who's even remotely interested. Share it with someone who's overly emotional. Um, just to try to kind of maybe plant some seeds in their own thought process with, oh, maybe, you know, I can start looking more logically into things. <laughs> Or however you want to say it, because that wasn't proper English. But you get the point. Um, <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, anyway, that's it for me. I'm actually ending the video this time. <laughs> so until next time, have fun out there and take it easy. See you guys next time.